Module one, introduction to algorithms. Part A, understanding algorithms. Before I present this material, let me spend uh, about 40 minutes, yeah, probably more than 40 minutes to explain syllabus. Yeah. All right. Let me start from the first item I like to explain homework assignments. Here you can see only two homework assignments. Yeah. That number looks small, but if we put everything together, we have a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Because we have quizzes, we have programming projects, we have tests, adding all these things. So you can see uh, a lot of work, a lot of work, yeah. So later I will run the timeline. So you will see uh, almost every week we have, we have some assignment, yeah. Uh, but the first assignment we will have the second week, end of second week. The first week we will, yeah, here, uh, this week, we we'll, yeah, definitely we won't. Second, yeah, second still, because this week we we lost one class, right? We also, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I confused with uh, Monday, Wednesday. Monday, Wednesday's class, uh, you know, only one class. But here we, we do Tuesday. Thursday, so we won't, we do not lose any class. So the end of next week, you will have the first assignment. Yeah. Starting from that week, you will see each week we have some assignment. Yeah. So that, uh, that's quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So let me explain this item. Yeah. Two, uh, because we have two tests, midterm and a final. So each home assignment is used to prepare you for those two tests. Yeah. And uh, later I will talk about, I will explain the quizzes. Yeah. But let me explain this home assignments first. The, each assignment is a big assignment. Each home assignment is a big assignment, okay? Yeah. Big relatively to quizzes. Quizzes I treat as small assignments. Yeah, we have six small assignments and two big as assignments. Yeah. Six plus two, you, can, you already see eight assignments. Yeah. So how big it is? There are a total of 10 and five questions. Yeah, so that number, yeah. Each question, four points. So total, you have 100 points. All right, yeah. I give you some easy questions, some hard questions, some very challenging questions, but each one, the same number of points, four points. Yeah, easy, four points. Very challenging, also four points. Yeah, all right. And uh, the question types, yeah. let me talk about the question types. Yeah. These types, yeah. the first type, multiple choice. All right, yeah, second type, true or false. All right, third type, short answers. All right, yeah. Then the fourth type. Yeah. The first three types, well, that's the, you know, almost, Co uh, covers uh, 90%, more than 90%, yeah. 
the last type, usually I give two questions, last type, solutions. Solutions, this type you need to provide full details. Full detail solutions, okay? Not just the answer. Short answer, you do not need to give me the, you know, solution details. No, just give me the correct answers. But I like to use the type number four to see if you really know how to solve some relatively hard problems. So I need to use this type number four. Okay, yeah, but usually I give two questions. Two questions. Okay, yeah. Not too many. Yeah, only two. Yeah. But based on my experience, uh, many students, they didn't provide details. In that case, I can only give you partial credit. Yeah, I need that details. Okay, yeah. So that's. That's the first thing, yeah. Oh, then the duration, yeah. So those 25 uh, questions, uh, I, I give you plenty of time. Yeah, the duration. Duration, near two weeks, a little less than two weeks, yeah, 13 days. 13 days, yeah. Later, when I run the timeline, you will see, yeah. Which day I assign the first assignment. Now, which day date is the due date? Yeah, it's all on my uh, PowerPoint slide. Yeah, so you will see that, yeah. But that is an estimate, yeah. I try to follow that plan, yeah but sometimes I may need to modify slightly. Yeah, okay, that could happen. Yeah, I try to follow as much as I can, yeah. but sometimes I need to make some adjustment. Yeah, all right, yeah. So you can see, uh, you should have plenty of time, 13 days to complete that assignment, okay? You can see during the 14, uh, sorry, 13 days, we have pretty much four lectures, right? Yeah. In that period, we have four lectures in that period. That means you can use my lecture time to ask me homework questions. So I explain in my lectures. Okay? Yeah. So you should have plenty of time to ask me questions. Okay? And I may give you hints. Yeah, usually I give you a lot of hints. I give you a lot of hints, okay, yeah. But last semester, although I give a lot of hints, but many students didn't follow, didn't use my hints well, okay, yeah. So that's another issue. But I give you plenty of hints. Hints, yeah, okay, yeah. So that is the homework type. Second type, yeah, let me see, yeah, quiz type, yeah. So here, uh, corresponding to the small assignments, yeah. you can see there are six quizzes, but we only take the top four highest four scores, we, we can drop to lowest scores. So in this way, uh, because some students, they may, you know, due to some reasons, they may not do well in one or two quizzes. Yeah. So that's very common, one or two quizzes, but don't worry. Yeah. So we just drop those two lowest scores. Yeah. So for the quizzes, 10 questions. Still, 
four points each. All right, yeah. And the question types. First three types above, yeah. Because for the quizzes, I use Canvas. Canvas quiz two. Yeah. Some of you may use that before. Yeah. I use that, you know, auto auto grading system. Yeah. Canvas tool. Yeah. So I do not need to do grading. I enter the answers. So that tool will grade it automatically. Yeah. So that's quite convenient. Yeah. But there is some limitation. My answers, the answers I entered cannot be very complicated. If I'm if my answers too complicated, then a lot of mistakes in the grading. Yeah. So I try to make my answers as simple as possible. Yeah. Mainly for short answers. For multiple choice, because that's just selection. So the grading is very easy. True or false, also very easy. But for short answers, yeah. so my answers cannot be very complicated. Otherwise, while you're typing the answers, yeah, you may miss one or two letters, then you, you cannot get a correct <laughs> answer, right? Yeah, so usually I put a, uh, my answer is a simple number. One, two, three, calculation. Yeah. Just a simple integer number. Yeah. That one, so you will not, you, uh, you're not necessarily integer. Most, most of the time integers, but it could be, you know, not integer. 5.3, yeah, it's possible, all right? 5.3, yeah. So it, it is an easy format. So it will not make the grading tool hard, hard to grade, yeah. All right, so 10 questions total, each one, 40 points. Each quiz, 40 points, yeah. So, so here you can see, uh, because we have four, uh, we have six modules, so six quizzes corresponding to six modules. Okay, so you, you can see one quiz for one module. Yeah. So the quiz is used to help you study the content of each module. So in that way, at the end of each module, I give you a quiz. Yeah. 10 question, quiz, quiz, all right, yeah. So you use this chance to study yeah, the materials for this module. Yeah. Then the duration, now let me tell you the duration. All right, yeah. Based on my experience, yeah. So I tried this several times. So now I use this way, yeah. The duration, a little more than one week. Yeah, so you will see, yeah. At the least, the minimum is one week. Usually one or two days more than one week. Okay, one or two days more than a week. Okay, so usually I assign a quiz on Friday or Saturday. Yeah. At the end of one module, yeah. At the end of one module, okay. I use Friday or Saturday to assign 
you a quiz. The due date is the next Sunday. Yeah. You know, not the same Sunday, the Sunday of the next week. Yeah. So you have a little more than one week to complete it because you need to study the notes. Okay. You need to watch the videos, study the notes, you know. Now, yeah. it takes a lot of time. So I give you this much time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's the quizzes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. If you have questions, just type in the chat area. So I, when I see your questions, I can answer. Yeah. All right. So let, if not, if not, I, I just move to the, Next item, programming projects, two projects, okay, yeah. In module one, I talk about one topic. That topic can be used at, for our first programming project yeah. because I want to assign, uh, for each project, I want to give you plenty of time. Yeah. So module one, you already, you can, we can prepare for project one. Yeah. So that means after quiz one, I can assign you project one. Yeah. Project one. Okay. All right. Yeah. So the duration yeah, here, how much time? I give you for each project, okay? Yeah, plenty, plenty of time. Yeah, the pro, uh, you, the project is not not very hard. It's doable. It's doable. Yeah, some relatively hard part. I explain. Yeah, I will explain. Uh, you know, give you hints, give you ideas. Sometimes the methods. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. So the duration greater or equal to five weeks. That's plenty, right? That's a lot, plenty. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And uh, but I I also I may I uh, I like I may like to you know give you one optional project, one optional project or extra credit. Yeah. In the middle somewhere, you know, I, I may like to prepare, you know, yeah, because for some students, yeah, some students, they like programming a lot. So they like to do more projects. But for all students, so if you, if I, based on my experience, if I give three projects in the semester, that's too much work. That's too much work. So, but for those students, you know, who love programming, who have extra energy, so I give them a chance to do another project for extra credit. Okay, yeah, the extra credit is pretty significant. Yeah, three percent overall. That's a lot, right? Think about that. Overall, yeah, we know overall one hundred percent, right? For the whole semester, when I do the final grading, you know, so we use one hundred points, right? Overall. So this extra three points of that 100, how big it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, even that, yeah, I, I did this many times before, but still only small number of students willing to do that because you need to spend a lot of time. Okay. So usually the question is a little challenging. Yeah. <laughs> So only, uh, you know, small number of students willing to do that. Yeah. 
So I encourage you, you know, do that. Because later at some time, usually I have one or two students ask me for another some extra chance to improve grades. <laughs> some students, you know, ask me, here, we already have one, right? Yeah. Sometimes they ask me, you know, if I can give a little more chance to, you know, to improve the grading, the grades. Yeah. So here I put it at the beginning of the semester. This is extra ch chance. All right. Yeah. You don't need to ask me. You just work on it. All right. Yeah. All right. So that's the programming project. Yeah. Oh, one big thing. One big thing here. I want to emphasize. Do not copy code from other students because each semester I caught several. No, several. All right. All right. I got a question from Nicholas. If we decide to take the extra project and realize we might not finish it, <laughs> doesn't hurt, right? Even you got zero, you get zero, doesn't hurt, all right? Yes, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. But you just, you know, you waste your time, okay? <laughs> yeah, you waste your time. Uh, but for the extra credit question, uh, I provide you a lot of information, okay? Yeah, so I give you, I talk about, yeah. I still, I spend a lot of time explaining, yeah. <laughs> All right, so usually I like to say it's doable, right? Yeah, it's doable, yeah, yeah. But it, it won't hurt, yeah, so. Yeah. All right, yeah, so here, uh, let me talk about that question. Do not copy code from other students. The reason I mentioned here at the beginning of the semester, because this happens every semester. Yeah, last semester, it was very bad last semester, okay? I caught at least six students, yeah, six students, yeah. yeah. I use a grader. I use a grader from the department. Yeah. My grader, uh, you know, usually, you know, he spent a lot of time uh, and uh, he he used some tool to compare the code. Yeah. So, and uh, then he wrote a report. Yeah. My grader, yeah, wrote a report to me. So telling me, you know, group one, so this group, you know, the code pretty much the same, you know, things like that. So at the beginning of the semester, I want to emphasize, do it independently, all right? Yeah. It's okay, you can discuss what other students, but when you write a code, write it by yourself, all right? Write it by yourself, yeah. Because even you, some students, they discuss, you know, together, but when you write a code, different students would use the different way to write a code, right? Yeah, so I do not worry about that situation. No. But the worst thing is, you know, some students just copy the code. Some students even, they may just change the function name, variable name. Yeah, but the, but the comparison tool can find that part easily, all right? The comparison tool is, pretty strong, pretty smart, yeah. So if you just do some little change, you know, function names, variable names, yeah, you can catch it easily, yeah, all right, yeah. Another question from Sarah, for the major types of exam and quiz questions, can you give us an examples of poor answers, little to no credit, and good answers, one that will get full credit. Yeah, yes, definitely. Yes, definitely. Yeah, I can give you that examples. Yeah, yeah. But I try to find good examples to show you that. 
But basically, you know, most answers pretty straightforward. Yeah. Because Sarah here, we won't have essay questions, right? So here your question pretty much looks like from the essay questions. Yeah. For this class, you know, it's a solid science. Yeah. You know, if it's correct, you get full credit. Yeah. Because the answer is five. You give me five. <laughs> so it's correct. Yeah. Yeah. If you give me four, it's wrong. All right. Yeah. So for your ans uh, the answer for your question is pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Yeah. And for the solution, the if you if you show me the main idea, if the if the idea is correct, I give you full credit. Yeah. The writing is not important. All right. Yeah. Don't worry about the writing. Yeah. So you just put some main formulas there. Yeah. You write some formulas. When I see your formulas, that's pretty much enough. Okay. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. So don't, yeah. another question uh, from another student. Do we take the quizzes or exams on the smarter proctor? The answer is no. <laughs> I do not use uh, proctoring. Yeah. Smart, smarter proctoring. Yeah. Uh, I got training in a department. I got training several times, you know, for this tool, smarter proctoring. Yeah. But still, uh, I feel it's too complicated <laughs> for me, you know, set up, you know, the whole thing, very complicated. So I want to delay it. Yeah. So only when I see this tool is very easy to use from both sides, from your sides and my side, yeah. both sides, yeah, then I will adopt it, yeah, before that tool, yeah, the current, current uh, smarter proctoring, uh, because uh, based on the, you know, my impression from the department training, <laughs> Yeah, so I do not feel comfortable use that at this point. All right, yeah. yes, yeah. So that's my answer. Yeah, okay, yeah. So you do it by yourself, but yeah, you know, I mentioned, I emphasize a lot, uh, do independently, yeah, because in that way you can learn a lot. Yeah, yeah, because you spend a lot of money. In this class, you need to learn the skills, the knowledge, the problem solving methods, right? Don't waste that. Use this chance to do a good job. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So let me continue. Uh, here I finished the programming project. Let me move to the next item tests 30%. Midterm final exam. Here I give you the date. So from the date, look, look at see here. Midterm, I give you three days: Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Working at home. Yeah. That's plenty of time. Yeah. The questions, old questions, the questions you practiced before in homework assignment. Uh, so here, homework one, homework two, uh, and quizzes, right? Yeah. Homework one plus three quizzes. Okay. Homework two plus three quizzes. Okay. Yeah. Final here you can see four days, right? Four days. Yeah. So that's plenty of time. Yeah. Although in the final week, uh, usually you are very busy. Yeah. But think about in the face-to-face -face mode, 
you only have two hours to complete the final, right? So that's the usual time, two hours. But here, that two hours work, you have four days to complete it. Think about that. Okay, yeah. If we switch back to the face-to-face -face mode, yeah, you have to all come to the classroom and use two hours to complete. 25 questions, the setting, each one, 25 questions. Yeah. Same type, same type, types of questions as in the homework assignments. Yep. Yeah. So, and uh, I only give you old questions, uh, you know, materials, old questions, question types, similar to old questions but may not be exactly the same okay yeah yeah i need to modify the questions yeah. and sometimes i may give you a few yeah you know one or two a few yeah 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 for different students you may feel different a few challenging questions yeah, we know this class, uh, we need to, we really need to work very hard to solve those challenging questions. Okay, yeah, yeah, you will see that. Yeah. Even after I give you a lot of hints, even after I give you a lot of hints, still not easy to solve those challenging questions. All right, yeah. So that's uh, yeah. So that's the main coursework you will have this semester. Okay, these four types no. coursework. Yeah. All right. Finally, extra credit. Yeah. Other than yeah, here, other than the extra credit I talk about in pro optional project number three you have a few more chances to get extra credit. One online evaluation, 1%. Yeah. All overall, yeah. All overall, yeah, 1%. Then early project submission up to 1% each. Yeah. Here, let me talk about this uh, early project. Remember, uh, let's say I give you five weeks if you can submit it complete it one week before the deadline you are qualified for this early project submission extra credit okay so one week earlier yeah earlier before the deadline All right, yeah. So you have another chance, yeah. Because I want to use this way to encourage you to do the project earlier. Yeah. Do not put in the last minute. Last minute. All right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, but here I like to talk about. In order to earn this one percent extra credit, you need to have some requirement here. Okay. Yeah. The requirement is your project. You should have all the main features. All the main features. In the project description, yeah. I'll give you a detailed project description. Item one, two, three, four, all right? So to list all those main features, all you need to have all the main features. If you miss one, you're not qualified for extra credit. 
Okay. Yeah. The reason I say this, because based on my old experience, some students, in order to earn this 1%, they didn't complete the whole project. Okay. They do early, they did early submission before it was completed. Okay. That happened before. So for that reason, I added this requirement. So you have to complete all the main features before you can earn extra credit, before you are qualified for the extra credit, early submission extra credit. All right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, one student asked me, online evaluation mean in this con yeah yeah because uh, uh for each course uh near the end of semester uh you know you may you may receive a message a link you need to go to a website to fill in some online forms yeah yeah so you just fill in yeah based on the you know questions so you give your answers so that's the online evaluation Okay, so you you will you will receive yeah. So in your canvas, actually, you can access it from your canvas. There is a you know online evaluation page. You can go there. All right, it's pretty easy. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you won't miss it. Yeah, you won't miss it. Usually, uh, you know, near the end of the semester. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, so we finish our. Uh, I think I pretty much finish finish the uh, syllabus explanation. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let me see next. Yes, yeah, so let me run the tentative schedule for assignments. Yeah. All right. Let me draw a diagram. Yeah. Uh, showing all. 17 weeks of the semester yeah, including everything yeah spring break yeah final week yeah, everything we have 17 weeks yeah so the spring break is here week number 11 the whole week spring break yeah so we won't have any classes yeah so you know uh, yeah yeah so keep in your mind yeah you have that one week break yeah all right so then let's let me start from the first week yeah the first assignment quiz number one near the weekend yeah friday yeah usually i like to give you on friday yeah okay so that error so point to approximate location of friday yeah, of the second week next week you will have quiz number one duration a little more than one week yeah. after that then in the middle of week number three thursday february the second thursday i will give you project number one yeah. I explained a little bit in that class, project number one. Okay. Yeah. So then you can start work, work working on it. Yeah. Because after module one, the problem we will work on. Yeah. I already give you the detail, background explanation. Yeah. So you're familiar with the topic already then week number three you just work on that problem all right yeah so that's the second assignment next one quiz number two near the end of week number four quiz number two yeah because yeah we will finish module two yeah so you you can work on quiz number two all right. 
after that, yeah, near the end of week number five, homework assignment number one, February 17th, Friday. Yeah, you can see one month from today, right? Today, January 17th. Yeah. So our homework assignment number one, February 17th. All right, then, uh, yeah, the duration, yeah. So I, you know, due date, March the second Thursday. Yeah, so you can see uh, very close to two weeks. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. One day less than two weeks. Yeah, yeah. After that. Quiz number three, yeah, yeah. So that quiz number three, yeah. So that one, uh, that assignment may not be very uh, accurate, yeah, because as I mentioned before, module three probably longer than module three probably longer than two weeks, yes. So that could happen. Uh, if module three longer than two weeks, I may delay quiz three assignment to week number seven. Yeah. Okay, so there is a possible change. Yeah. All right. So then here you can see of we already for project one, we already have uh yeah, not five weeks, yeah, project. A little more than four weeks, right? Yes. All right. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah. I may. Yeah, I may adjust it. Okay. Yeah. Because I said uh, at least five weeks. Yeah. I may adjust it. Yeah. The uh, yeah yeah. Give you a little more time. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Then, because after that. Project number two assignment. Yeah, we need to work on the project two assignment. Yeah. March the 9th. Yeah. After that, quiz number four. All right. Yeah. Then midterm before spring break. Before spring break, we need to do that midterm. Yeah. Midterm, March the 17th, Friday. Yeah. You can see two months from today. Two months from today, midterm. Yeah. All right. Week number number nine. Yeah. So after that, yeah, it's close to spring break. So during the spring break, I do not give you a uh, new assignment. Yeah. But you still you have project, right? Project number two. You need you can still work on project number two but I do not give you other new assignments yeah, for your spring break. So then after spring break, week number 12, quiz number five, right? Yeah. Then homework assignment number two, April the 14th, Friday, on uh, week number 13. Homework number two, right? Yeah. Then at the end of week number 14, project two due on April 23rd, Sunday. Yeah. This one you can see more than more than five weeks, right? Yeah. So here you can see, yeah, more than five weeks. Yeah. 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 All right, next one, week number 15, homework to due, April 27th, Thursday. Yeah. So then we need to prepare for the final. Yeah. Before the final, we do the last quiz, quiz number six. Yeah. All right, after that, then at a week number 17th, no, number 17, yeah. The final, yeah. 
I post the questions on May the 9th, Tuesday. Then you submit it by May 12th, Friday. Online submission. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So here you get idea. So for the whole semester, you can see um, this amount of work. So you need to spend a lot of time. Yeah. The problems from the previous semester, many students, they, they fell behind. Yeah. They didn't watch some of the videos. Yeah. You know, then it could be very hard. Yeah. So you need to follow, you need to study all the videos, you know, yeah. Understand that materials, then you can do well, okay? All right, yeah. So here, uh, I finish syllabus explanation, yeah. All right, yeah. If you do not have more questions, then I like to move to the new topics. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Here, next, the new topic, our 8.1 factors in problem solving. Yeah. Now we like to do the understanding part. We want to understand algorithms. Yeah. The first part factors in problem solving yeah. so for this whole class basically what we are going to do problem solving for computing problems yeah. so we're working on computing problems but we need to develop problem solving skills yeah so here let us look at those important factors in problem solving. All right. Yeah, question. Yeah. Why do we need to study algorithms? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So here, uh, the goal is simple, solving computing problems. Yeah. You need to learn the knowledge, develop the skills, for that purpose, yeah. All right, yeah. So here, uh, the main asset of ourselves, our brain, yeah. So we need to make usage of our brain a lot, all right? So to, to be smart in solving those relatively hard problems, so I will give you, you know, many methods, thinking methods, yeah. thinking. You know, we need to use thinking a lot, logic thinking a lot, thinking methods. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. A typical situation for a computer professional. Yeah. So you will be a computer professional okay, after you graduate. Most likely, you will be a computer professional. Yeah. All right. So you will be a problem solver. Yeah. You need to solve many real world problems. Okay. Yeah. Here you get a training. So in this class, you will get some solid training in real world computing problems uh, solving. Yeah. Problem solving. Yeah. All right. Here, imagine uh, a typical situation in the real world. So you are given a computing problem to solve, okay, yeah. You need to find a solution, yeah. And uh, here, let's consider a problem that is not very easy, yeah. So many times, yeah, you may have some pretty hard problems. All right, think about that. The factors that may help you solve the problem. In order to solve those relatively hard problems, 
you need to do something right, right? You need to do the right things. You need to, you know, if you have some good training in problem solving, you will take some right way to solve those problems. Okay. Here, I like to take a look at those things. What do you need? What basic factors do you need in order to do the right way to solve a real world computing problem? All right, yeah. So let's look at example. Here, I want to use chess, chess game as the one of the examples. When you play chess, yeah, here we can treat this as a general problem solving example, right? Yeah. In order to win the game, you need to solve some pretty hard computing problem, right? Yeah. In your mind, you need to find the right way to get a win, right? We can treat that as a general problem solving case. Yeah. All right. Another example playing football game, playing football game, right? Yeah. We can also treat that as a general problem solving in our real life, okay? Yeah. In these two examples, yeah. in these two problem solving examples, in order to get a win, your, your goal, you, get, you need to get a win, all right? Beat your opponent. Consider the factors. What are the important factors you need to really work on and work very hard on those factors, all right? Yeah. So here I use the abstract word factors. Yeah. Although I can use other words, yeah, yeah but you know, yeah something vague something vague here all right yeah. all right the first factor strategies think about in order to get away do you need to develop do you need to prepare some good strategies to beat your opponents right in a football game strategy is very important right in chess game strategy is also very important in different stages, you may need to apply different strategies. Yeah. Here, in our general problem solving, we need to apply many different strategies in different stages in our problem solving. Okay, so that's the first important factor. Yeah. We need to pay a lot of attention. Yeah. During this class, yeah, I will give you many commonly used strategies. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Very general, those strategies, after you master them, yeah, definitely you will do much better in the real world problem solving or computing problems. Okay, yeah. All right. Even sometimes many strategies can be applied to general real world, general real world problems. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Other than strategies, we know strategies are very important. Other than strategies, can you imagine some other factor also very important? Yeah. Think about in a football game, in a football, even if you have a lot of, you have some very good strategies. Yeah. Can you get the job done? Is that enough to win the whole game? Right? Think about that. Do you need some other things to nail a win? Right? Yeah. Look at that situation. Yeah, here, let me show you, you know, some 
exciting moment、uh, near the end of the game. Yeah, suppose only a few seconds left. You know, at the you know toward the end of the game. Yeah, then that final field goal would determine the result of the whole game. If you miss it, you lose the game. If you get it, you win the game. Right, so we we have seen situations like that many times. Okay, yeah, yeah. In recent years, I didn't watch football games. Yeah, but ten something years ago,、uh, I I watch a lot of football games. Yeah, there, yeah. You have the situation like that. Okay, yeah. You can see another factor out here. You can you know the strategies. You know, you already implement most of your strategies, right? Yeah. The last step, yeah. In order to get a win, you need to have the second effect execution. You need to execute your strategies well. All right, implementation. You need to, you know, make it make all the strategies work. Okay, in order to. Get away. Yeah. So the second factor also important in our problem solving. Yeah. That means even we have the right strategies, you still you need to have the you know implementation methods. Okay. Yeah. But that part not easy. You need to know how to make the strategy; those strategies work.、Yeah. For example, here let me give you a simple example. Yeah, because here we are talking about something very abstract. One example is, for example, let me use that divide and conquer case. Divide and conquer. Right? Yeah. Think about.、It. Divide and conquer. We can treat as a strategy, right? Yeah. For one particular computing problem, we can use divide and conquer to solve it. Okay. But even you know it, you can use divide conquer to solve it. Do you know how to use divide conquer to solve it? It it's still very hard. How to implement that strategy? How to Put all the details to solve the problem using a divide and conquer. That part still very hard. Yeah. So that's the execution part. Yeah. So in this class, when we work on computing problems, we basically we focus on these two factors. Strategies and execution. Yeah. After you get a lot of experience, yeah. On these two aspects, yeah. Then I think you will get a much better idea how to solve computing problems effectively. All right. Okay. Yeah. So it's the end of the. Our first class. So let me stop here. I still.